God to show love to the things that I love, to the things that I love. I got to show love. One die, One die, that'll be us. We got a shot today, mate. Let's uh, let's get going. Cause y'all gotta hold everything close, that means most and make sure that shit never fades away. Gotta Hello everyone, we're back for our second episode of the draft series. It's that time of the week, yeah. back from isolation, and we're back at East Frio, the footballing academy. And what are we doing here, Seba? We've got a bloke that we've had on before, Brandon Walker. Great to have him back. I can't wait to see his pretty face back on here. And he's brought a mate with just as good looking head on him. Yeah, and not just as good looking a head, but just as good looking skills. Yes. Two talents. Mercurial, we, we like to do this. We like to just We really... haven't named him yet. It's Jack Carroll. Yeah, it's Jack Carroll. I like to bring him under our wing and show him what we missed out from missing out on our draft. So... Oh, oh there they are. Two big players. Pleasure to see you, fellas. How are you, mate? Look great. at the fit on them, too. I know. They've gone matching. No one no one gave us the go-ahead. No one told us to bring our steak here, so I'm oh, a bit upset with yeah. that. Australian Post still haven't delivered ours yet, Hayden, so we'll have to wait on that. Yeah, but, um... It's been a while since we've seen you last, Brandon. You've uh, yeah. changed the hair, something Seb's also done as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. One of you for the better, the other Sebastian Clark. Jack, it's your first time getting on. Are you excited? Yep, pumped, mate. Beautiful. I can imagine. Now, big game of pick, Brandon. Again, you're one of only two, three guests to not win a game of But pick. I think all the other guests have at least placed second, Hayden, whether Brandon tumbled out in third, I think. Yeah, so. well, that's just what happens. I was just on that day. Jack, I hope you've been working on it, seeing yes. the videos, yeah. working on your goals. Been Brandon, I hope you've improved <laughs> since last time. But so, let's, uh, let's stop carrying on and let's get into it. All right, into the warm-ups. We say it every week. It's the most important part. You know, you don't want to be getting injured. You don't want to be hurting yourself before the game. We've heard from Brandon. Jack, what is the importance of the warm-up? Why is it so important? You know, it's just the important thing you do before training. Sweet. Fair enough, sure. Yeah. All right, uh, running time, my favorite part. Uh, we do it each week. Each week I don't seem to get any fitter, which is a bit weird. I'm not sure if these bikes know what they're talking about, to be honest, because I've not got fitter once since we started doing this. But Brandon, what do you got for me today? Can you get me any fitter? Well, we're going to do all the running drill. And you have 12 seconds to get past 85 meters and 12 seconds to rest. The quicker you get there, the more time you have to rest. And then, yeah. So pretty much the longer time I take, the less rest I get. Yeah. So it's just back and forth running for seven. Okay. Basically. <laughs> all right, easy. Let's, let's do, do it. it. Come on, Jack. Run it through, mate. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, we're no, we good to go. <laughs> Shoelaces on tight, I have to stop. We're running down. I did give you a bit of a chop today, Hayden. Um, my, shoelace, my shoelace came on tight. And look, I had to walk here as well because Seb wouldn't pick me up from my house. I had to do a fair bit of walking to get here. I made sure it's tactical. Couple trains. Yeah, it was about it. pretty unpleasant, but uh, we're getting to our skills through now. What have you got for us, Jackie? Yeah, right, we're going to do some transition running with the ball. So yeah, all four of us will to get, work together. We'll kick it up. Someone takes a grab and then we'll work together to take it up to about the goal to the centre square Sweet. and we'll work together bring it back and finish right. off with a goal. Let's do it then. Alright boys, the coach has told us quite strictly, oh, we're going to go a strip fat side of the ground, okay, and then bring it back through the corridor. He's told us time and time again every week, boys, this is time, okay? No more messing around, camera's on, it's time to go, yeah? yeah Alright, on three! One, One two, three, three four! four. Team 
middle now, in the middle now. Long handle, long handle. Okay, Jack, off there, off. Fucking time. Yeah, doing, yeah. If you want, if you want. Jack, shoot! Shoot, come here! Come here! Oh, selfish! Oh, selfish! Selfish! Right. We've had to give the cameraman the boot. It took too many goes running that intro, so I've uh, taken over. Just cutting funds, you know, COVID's taken us hard. We don't really have many funds to work with. He's trying to get his camera back, I won't let him. So you boys just want to tell us what are you thinking of the day's yeah, play so boy far? Boy band photo. Yeah. <laughs> boy band photo. Pose, yeah, look good. Uh, you ready? Three, two, one, boy band. To video, you idiots. Oh. I actually don't know how to take a photo. Oh. I'm, just, I'm just hoping, yeah, you two looking good now. Really look fearsome. Just going for like the smooch. Oh no, um, I think we're just going to become like a vlogging channel in the future. <laughs> might, nice. might move to TikTok. <laughs> um, just let us know. Um, put a thumbs up in the comments if you want us to go on TikTok. That's the skills drill done, obviously. We, we looked pretty good coming out of transition. There was a few conflicting ideas going forward. Um, obviously, some people... Don't bring up any names. Some people didn't read the game plan coming into it, and that's OK. Yeah. We all play our own individual games. Um, but now, on to the kick to kick. <laughs> Obviously, my forte, we all know I've probably got the most orthodox kicking uh, action in the league. I'm looking forward to it. Let's get into it, fellas. Do it. Now we know that um, Brandon and Jade are the cutest couple in Perth, but after today, I think I might have overtaken Jade. I think I'm a, I'm a real good couple with him. So stay tuned, watch out for the Instagram bios, because they could be changing soon. Look, I know I didn't do too well in the running, but that's because Seb's made me walk all the way to a train station, take a bus, take another bus, walk all the way back to him. My legs are tired, you know? I had to put in hard work just to get here, and you know, he's doing this on purpose because he knows this is my ground when it comes to the game of pick. Just calling out now, Jackson, a loose pig. Surprise, Brando gave his miss out the boot to get here today. Kick to kick done, now we're into the pig game, the biggest part of the day. Um, I think you're on two still. Yeah, it's two, two. two. And we don't know six to the guest, seven Could be to the guest. Look, the guests have a fair few. Maybe it's five, I'm not sure, but yeah. they're not getting another one today. Brandon, obviously, you didn't <laughs> you didn't manage to get up first time of asking. This is my ground. I've got the 100% win record. How, how have you been practicing coming into this game? Oh, I trained, been doing some goal shooting, so yeah. hopefully you get this one. And obviously, yes. Jack wasn't any too flash in front of the goals that was doing the skills drill, so he's not much of a chance himself. But do you fancy yourself, Jack? Yeah, big time. OK. All right, All right. well, it's upsetting, because I know these blokes are losing. <laughs> I know I'm the man. This is my ground. And that isn't changing anytime soon. Uh, Soon to the job part from here and hope it goes in. Oh! Oh! Yes! Okay, I'm gonna play Seb at his own game and I'm gonna go the dribble from the other pocket. And that's just what you get. Drop punt from the boundary here. Really? We're all on PI. Um, been a strenuous game so far. I feel on, so I do think I'll still pull away, but uh, Brandon's set next. So Every kick here is yeah, to okay. win it. And I hope you understand that pressure. <laughs> it doesn't get much bigger. This is last kick, siren's gone. Go on, do it. Light work. Same as last time to win the game. Should be right.
Ben, he's uh, pegged it back after a real dismal performance yeah. last time. I, I thought I had it there, um, obviously. Sometimes, I don't know what this groundskeeper's doing, but we'll have to get into his ear. Brandon, congratulations. You know, you, you've learned from your past mistakes, and Jack, you're gonna have to try again next time. It means you're gonna have to come on. Both of you, I expect hard work mm -hmm. until we see you next, and Seb, I just don't think there's much that can help us. Obviously, it's just one of those days. <laughs> um, I was at my best today, and it still wasn't enough, so... I thought I had it, and Brandon's pulled some kind of voodoo magic. Yeah. And the winds have changed. I yeah. planned for not I still, that I, I blame the groundskeeper, because that yeah, was not supposed it to be My up. plan was for it to bounce in. The goal square was empty. It yeah. was one of those kicks. But unfortunately, that's it for today. We'll get into some questions <laughs> and uh, wrap it up. Training done, thank God. Brando, once again, takes away the uh, pig game. He's first, so can go Congratulations again, mate. But uh, we thought we'd get into some questions now. Jackie, we haven't had too much to do with you yet, but um, obviously we know that you two play your footy together here at East Brew. Um, how did that come about, and how, how do you better yourselves by training with each other and also playing with each other? Um, usually just when we're doing contested ball drills and pair up. Me and Brando pair up pretty often, yeah. go up against each other. Yeah. Brando? Has been, yeah, same thing. Just always play each other and train with each other a lot, so yeah. You were both uh, picked in last year's Futures game, Brando. Unfortunately, you uh, tweaked a hamstring the night before, so you didn't get to unleash your fury on the G. <laughs> Jack, you managed to get a gig. How was that experience? And for both of you, how, how was the sort of lead up to that game as well? Yeah, it was pretty unreal, obviously. Meeting everyone there, meeting new people, playing with the best boys around the country is pre pretty unreal, yeah. yeah. Just kind of keen to play on the ground, like on the G and stuff, and in front of everyone. So it's pretty good. But it'll, it'll come soon. Yeah. <laughs> it'll come soon. Yeah. Um, now, obviously, you've played your footy uh, with each other for a long time now. But how did it first come about? How did you two first meet? Uh, from 15s, uh, Carnival. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, I spent Jack through that. It was pretty shocking back then, but oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> improved. And how yeah. do you remember Brandon from when you first met him? Um, I don't actually remember him. <laughs> wasn't, wasn't really. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty unmemorable first game. Yeah. Um, now, you actually both also were training with Freo. Were you both invited to train with Freo? How, how was that experience, uh, you know, getting to go to the AFL club? Yeah, it was pretty good. Like, know a few players and just training with the best of the best. It's a good experience, yeah. Yeah, it's just good to be around the club for a week and to see what it's like. Yeah. Um, now we're both coming, we're all uh, coming out of isolation now, it's been great, but what did you guys do um, during isolation to keep yourself sharp and the skills sharp and especially the fitness sharp for the eventual return to footy? Um, well I moved back to Geraldton for the break. Yeah, okay. And just a couple of the other Midwest boys are playing for East Fair. We would just go down every every two or so days and do our sessions down at the little athletics track and yeah, okay. that was pretty much what we did. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm fortunate enough to have a brother, so I did some kicking with him and did yeah. running with him. So we're, uh, things are starting to come back to normal. We're really getting into the natural swing of things now. What does training look like as you've started to come back? Um, well, at the moment, our team's been split up into four small groups, and it's we train at different times, and it's non-contact. But as of this weekend, we go back to, well, as of Saturday, we go back to the full squad and full contact, so just back to normal. And have you two been training together at all? No, oh, different groups, mate. Right? Uh, yeah. What are they doing in, like, the skill bracket or, like... <laughs> Now we've been given a date back uh, August 1st, but I believe you have some practice games coming up uh, by the end of the month. Yeah. How um, are you gonna? What are you gonna do in this time to obviously get back into shape and obviously um, get ready for those games? I oh, just train hard and focus on the game sims and stuff like that. So yeah. 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 So basically, just get back into contact training. Beautiful. All right. Easy. That does us for today. It's been a great episode. Um, an unfortunate ending with the pig. Obviously, mm. you win some, you lose some. No one wants to see um, that. Seb and I are still on to a piece for our. Big grand bet coming back to the end of the yes. season. Hopefully it doesn't end that way because that would be. I just don't see us winning anytime soon. Yeah, so. but it's been great having you both on. We hopefully can see you both again in the future and see you get out there and start playing some footy soon. Beautiful. Yep. Stay safe, boys. Yeah, thanks, fellas. Yes.